Recording a song. There are three basic ways to record a song on the PA600. Backing sequence, sometimes called quick record, step backing sequence, and traditional 16-track MIDI recording. With the backing sequence method, it's not necessary to record each track separately as you do with traditional sequencing. Any style can be used, and as you play, each of the accompaniment tracks is recorded on a separate sequencer track, for example, the drums, the bass, the organ, etc. Make sure you're in style play mode, and select a style from the contemporary category, page 2, jazzy funk. Go to Sequencer mode and press the Record button near the lower left of the screen. Select Backing Sequence Quick Record on the screen and touch OK. Let's choose Variation 2 and use Intro 3 to start the song off. Set the resolution to 8th notes. This will correct the input of your chords, style elements, etc., not the music, to the nearest 8th note. This isn't necessary, but can help to make the chord changes and style element selections happen exactly where you want them. Pressing the Style Start Stop button will simultaneously start the style and start the sequencer recording after a one measure pre-count. Trigger the initial chord first. Now we're ready. Press Start. Play a few chords. Press Variation 3, Ending 3. Press Stop on the song player. It will automatically bring the song back to measure 1. Press Play. All the tracks of the style have been recorded following your chords, variations, endings, etc. This is already impressive. The song you just created would have taken hours and hours to make with a traditional sequencer. But imagine you made a mistake or changed your mind about the chord progression or what variation should have been used. With a traditional sequencer, you have to edit every single track, even if you simply wanted a G major chord instead of an E minor chord. This leads us to the second way to record on the PA600, step backing sequence. With step backing sequence, you can enter in step by step what the chord progression is, what variation you want to have on what measure, etc. This allows you to record songs that may be more difficult than you have the time or patience for. It's also perfect for musicians who don't play a lot of keyboards, like guitarists, singers, etc. But the other advantage of step backing sequence is being able to go into a song you created with backing sequence and make changes quickly and easily. For example, let's say we want to change a chord in the song and also change the fill. Press record, choose step backing sequence, and touch OK. You can step through the events by measure, by eighth note, or by each event. Let's change the first chord from D major to B minor 7 by selecting the chord and playing the new chord on the keyboard. Move to the F sharp minor and change it to an A minor 6. But rather than playing the chord, use the screen to change it. Let's move ahead to where fill 2 happens and change it to the break. Touch Done, and then Yes. Now press Play to hear the changes. Now let's add a track using the traditional sequencer method. Press the Record button and choose Multitrack Sequencer. The Track Select button is used to switch between tracks 1 through 8 and 9 through 16. Display tracks 1 through 8. Then touch here to arm track 8 to record. Touch the Sound Bank icon of track 8 and select the sound you want.
then exit. Let's set the resolution to high so the timing won't be corrected. Once you press play, there will be a one measure pre-count, then it will start recording. Press the record button to exit recording and press play. When the PA600 is turned off, the song you just created will be erased. If you leave from sequencer mode to another mode, for example style play, the song will be erased as well, but a warning does appear telling you this will delete the song. Touch No to cancel, and let's save the song to the USB flash drive. Open the page menu, and select Save Song. The USB is probably still the selected device, so just touch Save. Touch the T, and name your song. and touch OK to confirm the text, then OK, then Yes to save it. Your song has been saved as a standard MIDI file that can be played in song play mode or loaded into other sequencers. Go to style play mode. We've saved the song, so touch Yes in reply to the prompt. The PA600 is an incredible tool to create your own music. The styles inspire you, and then you have several ways to capture your inspiration.